Hi everyone, welcome to our new class in Photoshop. Uh, today I'll be teaching you some magic in Photoshop, right? Uh, what exactly is magic? If you want to remove something uh, in photos, definitely can do that. Uh, many of the time people want to remove the blemishes on the face, the pimples and all that thing. How to remove that? Today I will be learning. Okay, and there are a few tools which will definitely create magic on creating your photographs beautiful. Okay, so today I'll be teaching you a few of the tools. Uh, the tools which I'll be teaching you is uh, known as clone stamp tool, pattern stamp tool, spot healing brush, healing brush, and patch tool. These are few of the like, these are around four to five brushes which are. Uh, as a family though they are placed in a different uh, blocks but still uh, they work almost in a same fashion okay so these tools help you in creating uh, smoothness or uh, removing the mistakes from your photographs okay uh, exactly what happens how it happens and why it happens I will explain you today. okay the first thing what you have to understand in uh, Photoshop is Many times I have already told you the Photoshop is a software which is made up of pixels. Okay, so this is the photo, and what I'll do is I'll just zoom it. See, when I'm zooming it, I get these blocks. Now these small blocks are called pixels. Okay, there, and these blocks are having a property of uh, like storing colors. You will see uh, there are different colors in different pixels. Now because of that, you are able to see the depth into your photograph. Now today the tools which we are going to deal with is clone tool which is duplicating the pixels. Now let's understand each and individual tool then only we can uh, learn them well and we can use them well. So let's start with this. I have taken this photograph and the first tool what we get here is this one that is clone stamp tool. Okay understand clone. Clone means duplication. Okay, when we duplicate some things, that's called cloning. So, what we are going to clone here, what we are going to duplicate here, we are going to duplicate the pixel. Okay, now what is your skill? Wherever you find there are mistakes in the photographs, okay, that time you have to clone that area with the similar looking pixels the pixels which are of same color to hide those mistakes okay so your skill is to hide those mistakes by using these clone stamp tool and making your photograph absolutely perfect okay which seems like a magic but we are doing it okay but this is a high skill which we have to actually do understand and do it okay so let's start with clone stamp tool First, I'll show you how exactly it works. So, so I've taken the clone stamp tool and I have increased the size of the brush. For clone stamp, you have to press Alt key on your keyboard. See what happens? When you're pressing the Alt key, the cursor changes. Cursor changes into a, a crosshead or a target. Okay. So that means what you have to do? You have to just hit on the area which you want to clone. So press Alt and click. Okay, so once you're clicking it, you're setting at the uh, setting out the target, the things what you want to close. See, now wherever I've taken, I'm taking my cursor. That particular area is being seen. So I want this the lightning effect on top also. So I get that. See, so this is how it works. It clones the pixels. Okay, now so for example, I want to remove this adventure. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take the color which is on top and try to paint this adventure. See, I'll reduce, I'll click and I'll paint this and I will remove this completely. So I have removed this, this that text completely. How I have done it? I've cloned the pixels which are on top down. What you have to do press alt set the target and clone that pixels how it works again i'll show you 
when you're pressing alt you are setting the target when you come on the area where you want to clone it see there is a crosshair on top wherever that plus sign goes okay wherever that plus sign goes it duplicates or it clones that particular area to the new area where you're scrubbing it okay so this is how it works and then it creates beautiful uh, finishing to your image so first thing is cloning okay so this can be used wherever you feel like you need to um, replace the pixels or correct the mistakes so say for example on this portion here we don't have color i want it to be filled with the color so take this and fill the color and what i am seeing i'm able to get that placed filled okay so i got this corrected okay second tool what we have with the clone is will directly jump to healing okay healing now why do we need healing uh, why uh, why do we need two tools why clone can't do things which healing can do i'll tell you exactly what healing does first and then we'll compare it okay uh, healing see i'm copying this press alt hit the target come to a place and scrub it whichever thing you want to be duplicated or cloned leave it as soon as you leave it it blends with the background now here it has blended now same thing i'm going to clone it here on the black c and white if i will do okay so with black it has blended itself with white also it has blended itself and here the same color so we are getting the same effect okay so the uh, the function of healing is cloning uh, first cloning is it duplicates the pixel as it is whereas healing it duplicates the pixel but it blends itself with the background color see here it has blended itself with the black background color okay so this is the difference between uh, your cloning and healing cloning is copying as it is healing is copying but blending with the background as per the requirement okay now let's see how this works well with a photograph so i have taken a photograph uh, like this i'll take it okay i want to clone this so i'll take the clone tool I want to remove these blemishes okay I will take the clone tool I'll select it and I'll paint so when I paint it so it's removing the things well okay but if you'll see carefully it has made some patches why because we have seen the clone has a property it copies the pixel as it is it doesn't blend according to the background now I will just undo all the things what we have done okay and then we'll see how we are going to clone this or how we are going to correct it now to doing this what we have is healing now uh, we'll take healing brush the property of healing brushes healing blends itself according to the background so press alt and see it's blending itself according to the background so what i'm doing is the nearest pixel i'm going to heal it with the tool as per the name healing it heals your pixels or heals your damages okay so see so that's how it goes now what i'm doing is i am pressing alt key taking the crosshair nearest thing and just click on the damaged area now once we are doing that it is blending itself according to the background and we are able to see the clean area okay so this is one way of healing or removing your blemishes okay
second thing we also have a tool which has been created just to remove the spots like in this photograph if I want to remove these spots okay I can definitely use a uh, healing tool but there is one more tool that's called spot healing brush above healing brush okay in this spot healing brush you don't have to press anything you don't have to press alt or take any uh, targets simply what you have to do is uh, take this spot healing brush and your the dimension of the brush should be a little little very little extra than your blemish and click see what what it does it it uh, clones that particular area it it improves that area by taking the information of the nearby pixels you don't have to do anything just go and hit on the area which is affected okay so it cleans that particular area of itself so this is what we get the result is beautiful okay so this is your spot healing brush and if you see it is removed all these spots are removed the name itself says spot healing brush it is healing but in the spot okay so this is your spot healing brush so we have understood clone we have understood healing and we have understood spot healing brush okay let's take a patch tool patch tool is something uh, if we want to clone and blend a certain area okay so for example this particular thing so we do it with a patch so take this when you are working with the patch we have two options the source and the destination when we are hitting on the source when we are working with the source what happens is wherever the selection goes that particular area goes into the selected area see and it blends so this is how it blends that is your patching but if I take it destination that time you take it the selected area itself moves and you can place it wherever you want and it blends with the background okay so when you are working with the texture and all that thing and you want to uh, improve onto these qualities that time see these textures can be cloned can you see here the texture has been cloned well okay so that's it with your uh, clone uh, your healing then your spot and the patch uh, there's one more tool which I would like to take it uh, quickly that's pattern stamp tool pattern stamp tool is nothing but it it paints the pattern so what you have to do is when you're selecting this tool on the property you get your patterns here okay say for example we are taking up uh, grass in grass we have this pattern paint and you get the pattern okay now the pattern uh, if you're putting up the pattern okay you can select a particular portion of an area like I'll add to the selection and this area is left out so I'll add this also and then I'll take the pattern and I'll paint pattern in this particular selection okay so this is pattern alignment of the pattern is done if uh, you are you're not putting this alignment on every time you paint you will feel as if it is incomplete see the leaves are overlapping but if you put it aligned wherever you do you have that alignment perfectly done okay and if you're taking that impressionist then this combination of color and you can you you can have this uh, the blurred color of the pattern as a background which will be like quite hazy so you can be creative you can be creative with these things Okay, whatever you want uh, this is the way of uh, cloning healing uh, your spot healing and your pattern stamp tool. the next tool what we are going to see is uh, content aware move tool first I'll show you how exactly it works and then I'll explain you uh, why it works like that okay this for example I'm selecting this particular uh, symbol from here and I'm moving it and I'm moving it and keeping it here Cloning, we had seen like it clones, duplicates, healing, it duplicates and it blends. And then aware and move, it moves that particular thing. As soon as I press enter, see what happens. Okay, so it has been shifted to a new place and it has filled the gap from where I had picked it up. Okay, it doesn't duplicate or it doesn't clone like clone stamp tool or healing tool. 
what it does is it contain content aware and move tool as per the name say it it understands what should be the content here and it moves that content from here to a new place by filling the gap of the area from where we have moved okay so it has two functions one it moves the uh, symbol it moves the area what we are selecting second it fills the gap it fills the gap automatically and blends so nicely that you are uh, you will not be aware as if uh, the symbol was there or any any a blemish was there or anything was there which was not good okay so this is how it works so content aware move to very nicely uh, you can use it okay and then we have the red eye tool now red eye tool basically nowadays we find it difficult uh, to use red eye tool what happens is whenever we are clicking with a flash sometimes I our eye captures the light and we have that red color in our eye in the photograph so if I want to remove that and convert that into black so I take this uh, red eye tool and hit on the pupil. Okay, when I hit on the pupil, that red color uh, converts into black. It becomes desaturated. Desaturated means the colors are removed and it becomes black and white. Okay, so that is how the, uh, if you see carefully on the red area I am doing it, it adds a black patch, small black patch. Okay, see here. I'll just zoom and show you. Okay, can you see this black patch? So it removes that red color and converts that into black and white. So that's your red eye tool. Okay. So these are the few tools which will help you to uh, correct your images, remove the blemishes, pimples and lots of things, whatever crap is there, whatever mistakes are there, you can easily remove it. You need to understand each and every tool well. Like again, I'll revise for within two minutes, clone stamp tool, that is this tool clone stamp tool as per the name it will clone it will clone just clone okay it will duplicate the pixel as it is from one place to another place it will duplicate that's it the work is to clone the name suggests clone which means duplicate okay second tool with that we had seen healing so healing is here this is your healing brush okay healing what it does it is similar to clone it will take this particular portion from one place to another place but it blends with the background okay when it blends with the background uh, it, it won't leave a spot or a mark that something has been done where the chances of the clone tool is there that we might get some patches also okay because healing works like a uh, recovery tool or something like that we also have a spot healing brush now this is specifically specifically created to remove the spots okay we have the pimples and all the things so we have to click on that all it does is it calculates the uh, information of the pixels from around that brush and collapses all the information together once it does that it removes uh, it removes that particular blemish okay uh, then we have seen patch tool patch tool is a certain particular patch to be selected and moved and the best thing what we had seen was a content aware move tool wherein the content is moved by filling the gap of the previous area what we moved okay and the red eye tool removing of the red color from the eye so uh, I'll, I'll, what I'll try is um, I'll try to use these tool on some photograph I'll create a video and post it after this video so this will, that will give you a pretty good idea how exactly work can be done in that I'll explain you what all things can be done with it please practice this this is very important tool and with this you can actually remove the text of the images and lots of things and you can use those images for your work purpose okay so uh, that's it for today next class i uh, will see new features okay new tools thank you